So let's do cast iron roasted chicken and stir fried vegetables. I'd like to start off with marinating the chicken. I like to use boneless thighs. They will roast very quickly and very evenly. We're going to do a teriyaki style marinade. I'm going to use a couple tablespoons of honey. You could use sugar or you could use maple syrup. And our saltiness, a couple tablespoons of soy sauce. And I'm going to add a little bit of ketchup. And this is a spicy ketchup, by the way. There we go. Just kind of mix this up. So I should note the chicken, or whatever meat we're gonna marinate, uh, should be close to room temperature. Take the meat out of the refrigerator about 15 or 20 minutes beforehand. I have heated up a cast iron griddle. It's under the broiler. It's been in there for about 15 minutes or so. I'm going to just coat this very hot griddle with a little bit of oil. Not a lot of oil, but just enough to coat it. As soon as I put the chicken onto the cast iron, it's going to start to cook. So it's cooking from the bottom, and this will happen very quickly. It's probably going to cook in about six minutes or so. Let me do some vegetables. Turn on our wok. It's on medium high. I'm going to put in my oil, it's a couple tablespoons. And I'm going to start browning some tofu. This is firm. Cut this into half inch blocks. Just like that. Tofu is basically just vegetarian cheese and we'll let that brown up. And I'm going to add some garlic and some ginger. You can see it's starting to brown up. So I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Our ginger and garlic will add its flavor to the oil and to the tofu. You want to put in your vegetables in the order that you want them to cook the longest. Carrots generally take a while to cook. I give the carrot a quarter roll each time I cut it, and we'll put that right in. And we'll give that another stir. This is on high heat. We want to maintain that sizzling sound. The next thing I'm going to put in is Brussels sprouts. Cut the stems off. Expose the interior. Peel off some of the outer layers. And we'll put these guys right in. The oil and the ginger and the garlic are really just kind of combining their flavors. Let's take a look at our chicken. If it has been pretty close to five minutes. The top of that chicken should be nice and brown. And you don't have to turn it over. I'm just gonna let this rest, shut the heat off. If we wanted to, we could serve this right now. Because it's the thigh meat, it's not going to dry out. And here's our tofu getting crispy. Our Brussels sprouts, they're getting there. They could, they're gonna need a little more time. We're going to add some more vegetables. Onions. Put the onion in, put the lettuce stir. The Brussels sprouts is starting to caramelize. Let's make the sauce. In here we have a mixture of Chinese wine. This is a rice wine and some soy sauce, some of the ketchup. We're going to add some five spice powder and some cornstarch. And we want to make sure that there aren't any lumps here. This is cooking up nicely. We have some sliced mushrooms, which we don't want overcooked. Let's put in some broccoli florets, another stir, some sugar snap peas. And the last thing we'll add are some scallions. I'll cut these at about a 45 degree angle. One more stir. Let's add our sauce. Pour that right in. Now I'm gonna turn this heat right down. Here's our chicken. 
take a look in here. Oh, look at that. Very moist, very tender. If you do this with a chicken breast, pound it down so that it's all kind of one thickness. The best way to uh, eat this is some rice, put some vegetables in here, some of this chicken. Mm. So there you have it. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.